Joining us today is Tangi Ora Hanaki. Tangi Ora, please tell me a little bit where you're from and what you do. So Tina, I'm uh, from Aotearoa, New Zealand, I'm a Māori woman. However, I've been living in Western Australia for 20 plus years now, and I am the CEO manager of Ngāra Media in the Pilbara. So we're an 18 hour drive from Perth in WA, um, and Roburn community, Eramaguru, uh, has about maybe 1,500 people living there. But within our um, city, even though we're in the bush, there's probably about 20,000 people. So 40 k's down the road, there's a you know, target came out. But anyway, uh, where I live in Roburn is where Ngāra Media is based and so we broadcast into through radio into 11 communities. 70% um, of our content is First Nations focused and we go out of our way, we hit the road to tell the stories of all traditional owners because we have over 10 nations within our patch so we're very, very busy. Um, and so my my, my main job is to oversee the 32 volunteers and our fi five staff members, but also do chase stories daily. It's that daily grind of finding local stories that matter to our, our Pilbara audience. Wow, that's amazing. Tell me what some of those stories that you've covered and what are some of the ones that really stick out to you? Well, Papua New Guinea community uh, is near Newman, which is six hours inland from Roburn, and I, I really... Uh, appreciate it when First Nations people contact us, which they do, to let us know about the issues that matter to them. And so we were able to break that story about a, a demolition of a home within a local town base reserve. Now these homes um, were definitely unfit for humans to uh, be living in and there's been a lot of consultation with uh, state government and ministers over the years however when the demolition started to happen there was no consultation so elders were shocked they were worried um, you know they hadn't heard where they will be going where are they being moved on to and see where we live uh, a lot of mining happens so our Aboriginal people get royalties you know so it's really important that they're looked after because um, we're known as the engine room of Australia with all the iron ore and, and the resources oil and gas that we have uh, so from uh, Ngāra Media breaking that story, uh, Ben White, who's the Aboriginal Minister for State Government, WA, uh, you know, apologised about that. Also the Pilbara Development Commission, who, were over who are still overseeing um, Papua New Guinea, you know, apologised uh, for not letting uh, the residents know first. So uh, demolition paused, but since then we are still continuing to follow that story. And we have heard that an elder has been moved into a home which is great news, but um, we'll continue to ask those questions, um, you know, to um, be a voice for those other residents, you know, who are still waiting to be rehomed. So really proud of that story. Um, and, you know, many other stories, events that we cover. Um, we were just at Karajini Experience this year, which is hosted by the Banjima people. And um, I'm talking, we're in the middle of nowhere in these beautiful gorges with, uh, you know, swimming pools and, uh, and to see ab uh, an Aboriginal opera singer Deborah Cheatham raising her voice in amongst you know that uh, those surroundings um, has been definitely a highlight. Wow that's incredible so it sounds like a lot of the stories that you cover are similar to the ones here in Canada. Excellent yes we um, definitely have a lot in common Maori, Aboriginal and First Nations here and I just think you know we, we band together I think we can be a stronger voice. Indeed. Thank you.